cockatoos back. The cockatoos all disappeared at winter time. Um, they, they must be following their food source. So they all left. A couple started to come back. Haven't you guys? Yes. Haven't seen Scruffs yet. Hopefully he'll come back. How are you two doing? You're hungry, hey? Jacaranda in the background, they're starting to bloom. So, spring does this every year. Gets beautiful purple flowers. Only got a few so far, but each day it gets a, a few more blossoms. Is that yummy, you too, hey? Have you got a baby in your nest? Not sure, hey? Over on the other feeder is a Corella. There's a cockatoo waiting down there. He wants something to eat. But um, the, <laughs> the cockatoos wait for the Corellas to finish feeding. It's really strange. Even though the Corellas are so much smaller, the cockatoos just wait their turn. Noisy dogs. <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon. G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to try something new today. <laughs> I'm going to do a sandwich pour, but instead of using white, I'm going to use black. And um, hopefully I won't end up with just a big mud bath. <laughs> oh, I'll give it a go. I'm not going to use as much black as I would if I was using white, obviously, because it's really going to take over. But I'm going to use a fair amount. Now this is dry. This was my second attempt for Rose Garden. But I lost pretty much all the green. There's a little bit there. And the brown just really took over. So not really a Rose Garden anymore. Not sure what it is. Sherbet. <laughs> Anyway, it's, it's dried really pretty, so I just thought I'd show you that one. Um, yeah, that was, that was what I was sort of going for, the, the rose garden. I showed you that one in the previous video, so much happier with that one. This one's just a little bit too dark, but still both pretty. They look nice, you know, next to each other. Make a nice, a nice pair. So that's them. Put them out of the way and get on to today's pour. So same as usual, 60% glue, 40% water. These are all the Montmartre School Studio acrylics today. But I'm just showing you the black because the others are put away up on the shelf and they're big heavy bottles to get out. Um, I've got a turquoise that I've added a bit of blue to. I've got the green their this one is orange mixed with yellow this is their brilliant red and their violet so that's the colors and i've got a big container of black here the colors i've mixed equal parts of pouring medium to paint 40 grams of pouring medium 40 grams of paint the black i did 150 grams of pouring medium and 120 grams of paint because the black's so much thicker and that was still leaving a really big mound so then I added 10 grams of water to it so it's got about the same size mound as these guys have because I didn't want it to be too thick and then the cells can't come through you know okay so let's just do two drops in each color because I've got lots of colors so just two except for the black i have no idea how this is going to go i haven't trialed it before that's why i'm just using a little canvas um, and see how that goes because i don't want to waste a big canvas and a huge amount of paint if it's not going to work if it's just going to be a big mud bath not that there's anything wrong with mud baths especially if it's hot mud bath <laughs> those natural mud pools has anyone been to those they look like a lot of fun. I've never done it, but they look like a lot of fun. You'd have to go and have a good shower off afterwards, wouldn't you? Get mud out of every little nook and cranny. <clears throat> so, 
so I think what I'm going to do is normally when I do a sandwich pour I put white a little bit of paint white but this one I'm going to put a couple of colors and I'm going to put some black and I'm going to put a couple more colors and then some black uh, just to sort of break the colors up a little bit so decent amount of black in the bottom but I just don't want to overpower it you know it's a bit it's a bit hard to tell how much I'm going to actually need. I don't know. But I'm only going to do one layer of each colour. Uh, again, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Normally I do two layers of each colour, but we shall see. I'm experimenting. It's only paint. I can mix more. <laughs> All right, so um, what do I want to do next? I think the orange. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking I should probably keep those two together. These are very similar. What's orange, uh, red, and green going to do together? Um, no, I better. I better not. Let's just do this. Half there. Half there, and then I'm going to put some black on top. It's going to be like a triple decker sandwich with rye bread, isn't it? I'm hoping to get like a twilight zone kind of a look of black background, little pops of bright cells coming through. That's what I'm hoping for. Good amount of black again. Off me flies, fly sitting on my hand, and then I've got enough black hopefully for the leftover. Now I don't like orange next to black, it kind of goes a bit green. So let's do the red. I don't think I've got enough room here, might have too much paint, you guys. I didn't actually calculate how much I needed, I just threw it in. Um, yeah, I'll put the orangey one in next. Oh, I've got way too much paint. Let's go purple. We've got enough here for two paintings. Maybe I should quickly increase my canvas size. Because this is going to be a lot of paint. Okay, and some black again. Look at that. Woohoo. I am going to pause the video and I'm going to grab the next size canvas up because this is too much paint for this little canvas. And yes, I could just use one cup but then what do I do with the next cup right so just give me a minute and I will swap to the next size up and there you go magic of video I have a bigger canvas now I might actually not have enough to do this whole thing because normally I'd use like 700 grams that's so full oh, it wasn't too bad actually I didn't <laughs> I didn't lose too much considering how full those cups were all right now obviously I don't need to wait for the paint to run down because it's already run down um, I'm just hoping I have got enough paint if not I can stop make up some black and put it around on the edges maybe all right let's do this cross your fingers for me so I'll try and get as much paint out of there as possible Oh, look at 
look at that black. That's a lot of black, isn't it? Oh dear. That might be a problem. I wonder why that happened. Goodness, that's a huge amount of black paint. Let's hope I can get some cells up through it. I'm going to be in all sorts of problems, but hey, it's, a, it's enough paint, isn't it? Glad I changed over to the next size. This is a 30 by 40 centimetre canvas. Uh, 12 by 16 inch. Oh, look at that. That's a shame. All right, let's have to leave that there. Pop. Right. Well, I hope I can get cells through there. Look at that little green one. Hello. How are you? Um, now I've got my colours on the outside and the black in the middle. So hopefully... Hopefully, be able to get cells up through there and, you know, that I haven't made my paint too thick, my black paint too thick. Keep that little bit of black there on the corner. I think that'll be nice. And let's go to the next corner. little thin strip of lightning shooting through the middle there, eh? Now I just want to cover this just a tad, just a tad. I don't want to lose all that red. My gosh, that's a lot of black. Okay, never mind, it doesn't work. I'll just do it again and just hope that I can get colour through there. This half's all right, I can see other colours through there, but that one, that's very dark there. Alright, here we go. We torch it. See if anything can come through. There's a few little spots happening. As I stretch that out, and I'm going to have to take that off, I'll stretch it out and torch again, and then hopefully I'll be able to get more coming up through that black. Because at the moment, I'm not really getting a lot through. They're very small little cells, which t is telling me that my black is still too thick. So let me take that off and that off. I shall go over here first, and then I can keep what I want, and then the rest of it can just go off. like to keep that black corner if I can and keep that black corner all right now I'm just going to get rid of some paint come down here whoops and down there and I think I'll leave it on an angle like that for now anyway so that was quite a lot of black paint that just went I'm going to torch it again now and just see what happens. Oh, look at that orange stripe through the center. That is gorgeous. Now, I don't know if that's a bubble or what that is just there. I'll, I'll try and torch it, see if it'll go. Might have to pop it with my bamboo skewer. Still a lot, a lot of black just there. It's not getting anything up through that this first cup was is doing quite well it's just this second one it's misbehaving isn't it all right I'm gonna have to take some more of that black off it's too thick um, and the cells aren't coming through so let's walk it to try and stretch the cells and just try and open that black up a little bit more 
and maybe it's just going to be the dark half and the light half, hey, dark side of the moon. I'm just going to be careful not to overstretch everything else. Actually, I should torch more before I start stretching again. Well, that's certainly interesting, isn't it? It's just a shame about that. It may just have to be my black negative space and I'll learn from this and uh, have the black a little bit thinner. Dark side of the moon. I was going for twilight. Hopefully I've, I've got it. It doesn't look as if I'm going to get anything else through there. And then I've got too close there. That's orange there, that's orange there. That's nice, isn't it? It's kind of balanced. It's really not much more I can do with it because I don't want to lose, I don't want to lose oh, that bit of purple just there. So I, I may just have to leave it like that and go, okay, that's my black negative space there. <laughs> wow, it's um it's unusual. <laughs> yeah, I just wish I could have got some more of that black off. But look at that stripe of green. How bizarre is that? It's obviously where my greens come down. See, I only had one layer of each colour. That's why I'm getting more of a block of each colour. That green is pretty amazing though. No, I don't want to stretch them that way. If anything, I need to stretch these little ones out because they are smaller. See, the cells at the top here are quite small and then those ones down there are quite big. So if anything, I need to go more that way. that a little bit more of a curve I guess um, let's kind of push the green over a little bit more encroached onto the black there goes my black corner Just trying to open everything up a little bit more. Mm, starting to overstretch those cells down the bottom there. But I've opened these blue ones up, which is what I wanted. I'll have to just take a few of those little those ones that I'd overstretched on the end there, I'm just going to have to take those off and then just leave it like that. That's better. Okay, that's it, you guys. That's all I can do. Get rid of these black covered gloves. And, well, that's covered. that corner's most definitely covered. Get some black here. I've probably got too much black. Um, so next time, and I will do this again because this was fun, <laughs> um, not so much black. I do love how that has got that black negative space, but I don't need so much black. I've tipped a lot of it off. So I'll make up less black next time. Um, I think the thickness of the black was okay. Like my cells have come through. I just had too much black just there. But in the other areas... You know, it's the 
the cells have come through so my black wasn't too thick I just had too much of it I think so not nearly as much as I would have if I was doing um, a white sandwich pour what do you think it's very planetary isn't it like there's there's a little planet there and then it's dark and it's back to light down there I think I will call it Twilight Zone. Do, 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 do. Picture a man. I can't remember the rest of it. I used to watch the Twilight Zone all the time when I was younger. Loved the show. Is there a new movie now? Twilight Zone movie that's come out? Not sure. All right, so there it is. Let me take it down. Close up. got nice and bright in that corner love the lime green that orange really took over didn't it oops I'm getting a really bad glare there I'm going to turn this light off okay um, the yellow yellowy orange has given us quite a dominant corner there and then over there we've got that lovely dominant red corner actually the red and the purple together is nice isn't it I was worried about it haven't got a lot of purple a bit there um, there's a bit there in the background look at those cells there they've got red rings around them we're getting good light with this pour at all it's really reflecting the blacks reflecting badly the window there. Um, where can I stand? Around here. I guess this is the best. It's just reflecting badly. So anyway, there you go. Um, my favourite part. My favourite part. Ooh, love those blue rings around the cells there. I get close in it's just changing the color totally and that green stripe through the center I think in hindsight it would have been better for me to have two layers of each color because I've got that big block of red there and then I've got that big green stripe through the center not much going on over here in the dark side of the moon but those cells there green and the blue together are really pretty yeah I just it's really glaring so I'm having trouble showing you but anyway there it is you can see it um hope you've enjoyed that and I certainly will do this again with less black same colors because I think these colors really work and I'll cut down on the black and hopefully we'll get a better result and I'll do two layers of color okay thanks for watching bye for now